Okay, it's time for me to introduce a truly disgusting interview with Cremator from Ghoul. It was a complete waste of everyone's time, and I highly recommend you just skip right past. So here it is. We had a lot of fun. Uh, what are we doing? We're, what is Digester and Dissector doing at the end of this Zoom call? You were, guys were just here in this room with me. <laughs> we're, we're recent recurrence. Recent, yeah. You, you have much fancier hoods than I remember. Well, we like are kitty like, cats. And soft are those like the things. kitty cats on there? Yes. They are. are we going in a new direction with the band I'm not aware of? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. We can go kitties. It sounds big on the internet seats. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, I got to work on, great. on my Creepsylvanian accent, though. My, it's Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's good. What you do is a little bit of Triumphy comic dog and, uh, you know, just make up uh, like a, like you're from a, some other country. Like, I don't know, say Frost, for example. <laughs> Bonjour, mon ami, escargot, you know, all that bullshit. Excellent, yes. Or just sound like the guy from Despicable Me. I could do that. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Can you do that? Oh, show me. A, I love a good impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, yes, is is good, is good musics. Is liking good musics. Ghoul is That's good. That's amazing. Music. I'm assuming I've never seen this movie. I have no idea. <laughs> like, you could be the best on the planet. I would have no idea. <laughs> We well, are... bonjour. Yes, bonjour. We are obviously very thrilled to speak to uh, the cremator of gore. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, why has it been so long between records? What's this, eight years? Seven. Yeah, because we're Seven fucking years. lazy. Look at us. <laughs> I haven't washed in 23 years. You think I've got uh, making a record my priority or something? That's excellent. Uh, we, we get to it when we get to it. You know, all the yeah. idiots will be waiting because... They all can't wait to see our handsome faces on stage again, yeah. you know. <laughs> or not see them. <laughs> I, this is how I look, you know. It's, I wake up, I go to sleep. As far as I know, this is all that's there. I don't even know why I did my makeup. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I did mine either. It's I've, got a lovely, I've got a lovely shade called whore under here on my one lip. I only have one left, so no. that's, that's I don't go one. through the lipstick very fast. <laughs> so i love the album cover for noxus creations um is that your guy's beer floating in that mask yes that's a numbskull beer that is how you know uh when when dissector is cooking he likes to throw some booze in it's a very classy way to elevate the flavor of the meat it doesn't get us drunk though so we have to make sure we have plenty left over to drink as well yes, yes that's very important yes. It's uh, Deco Noir Art did a fantastic job uh, capturing. We sent him photographs of our dinner and he just drew it and it looks amazing. Oh, that's a softball then. Yes. You know, I don't, I, I don't, I think he did it freehand. Maybe he did, he, maybe he traced it. I don't know. It looks yeah. good to me. So, <laughs> great noxious color too. Yes, it's very noxious, just like the food that, that we eat, you know. It's like we yes. like human flesh and a little toxic slime on top. Forgive it, you know, that umami. We really want the umami in there. I saw some of your cooking tips online about mashing up all the pills. and. Putting oh, yeah, you want to mash up the pills really fine, really fine. Because <laughs> if you're going to boof that shit, you know, it takes. it's hard to get up there. You want a really fine powder. You don't want to be boofing full pills. It takes forever to go through your bloodstream. No, no, you know, no. I've never seen a... Yeah, get I've never high. seen a pork <laughs> rub like that with ibuprofen. I've never seen that. That's yeah, no, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, Dissector is a great cook. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little lazy, so we end up eating a lot of raw food. But when he does, mm -hmm. <laughs> so bon I, appetit. I love your blend of like gore and humor. Um, and do you, are you guys fans of stuff like Shaun of the Dead and the Santa Clarita Diet? And it's kind of that combination of gore and horror. And oh, of and course, movies. we like to see horror movies, of course. But for us, this is it's more like just watching. The, it's it's kind of like a, a slice of life, you know. <laughs> so we watch like Shaun of the Dead and we're like, oh, yeah, remember that time that we fought a rampaging horde of zombies <laughs> controlled by a <laughs> a voodoo priest who was trying to send us on a quest to get the Omicron bomb. You know, normal daily stuff that everybody goes through. Yeah. Absolutely. I like the choice of the Funerat cover on the on the new EP. The one night. Uh, I'm so uh, big heart to Funerat and the boys of Funerat. I love that people are catching on. 
Why would we do another cover of one of the big four? It's too easy. People might recognize it and actually mosh. Instead, <laughs> why not cover an obscure thrash band that nobody's heard of and people might just assume it's our song? <laughs> Fuck it. Win win. That's great. Yeah, they they were together way too short. Uh, funeral. They were. They were a good band. And they were also happened to be very short. <laughs> they were tiny lads. They were drinking that that uh, lithium water they have in the Olympia, Washington, and they, um, it, it stunted their growth. But it made them very mellow dudes. Very <laughs> cool to deal with. Just yeah. high on lithium all the time. I knew I would like them when the album came in the mail, and then you fucking die, man. I thought, wow, that's a great title for a record. Yeah, it's a good band. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, covering the... Uh, a, a, a smaller, like, you know, unsuccessful loser band like Funerat. <laughs> you know, maybe people will go back and listen to these gems that they might have missed before. Ghoul is doing idea. a favor for the world, honestly. And um, I think people should uh, write poems about uh, what heroes we are. Absolutely. I remember reading about this band that covered obscure bands like Diamond Head and Budgie, and they that of course didn't work for them at all. So I mean, no, you know, it's, what it's a, what it's a lame a, brain idea, you know. Yeah, it is a lame brain idea. Who would do that again? Oh, Whatever, shit. think of that. Wait, oh god damn it, we're not going to do well, are we? This is going to tank. <laughs> we're good. We're going to tank. We should have just covered. We should have just covered Exodus or something easy. <laughs> well, you don't have a you, you didn't have a, a a Gandalf figure that's a uh, that's a tennis. It's a tennis uh, guru that can give you these types of advices. You just have to shoot from the hip, you know? Yeah, we really need it. He, you know, he said, he, he said, run, you fuckers, get the fuck away from me. That's what he said to us. And we had to run away from the wizard. <laughs> there you go. So uh, I, I have never gotten a chance, unfortunately, to see you live. Um, maybe well, why the fuck time. not? We're, we're losing ticket sales. What the <laughs> hell? Why would you do this to us? Well, normally, and I think you're doing it again, you're hitting Philly and Washington and we're Baltimore. Yeah, but I've seen oh, you at MDF. Geez. Yeah, I've I was going to say, if MDF only there was times. a giant fest that we've played like 15 times right in the halter heart of Baltimore's yep. beautiful wharf district. Yep. Get your crab cakes. Put Old Bay on everything. <laughs> That's absolutely right. Yeah, That was the best thing we ever got from playing Maryland Death Fest was we took Old Bay Spice with us. We we packed shipping crates with it and went on our, our steamboat back to Creepsylvania with tons of Old Bay seasoning. Well, when you when you toured Mexico and, and just in general in places that are, I don't know, where the airports can be scary, did, have you had any any weird experiences with them questioning, you know, what what are your what are these masks? What are your no, no generally we travel in a crate. Oh, okay. You know, we travel in a crate all together, and uh, it says, uh, dangerous biohazard, do oh, not touch. That's a very and small so, way around. Yeah, we, it's, it's really the best way to travel if you don't mind close quarters with your friends and also sharing a single bucket for a toilet. <laughs> we like, like the man we with really... the machine gun won't look at that twice. I'll just let you go right through. Yeah, this. they don't even look at that. I'm not touching that fucking box. <laughs> it smells like fucking shit. <laughs> Does the guy who squirts the crowd with slime have a name? Uh, there are several guys who, who end up crashing our show and squirt the crowd with slime. You're going to have to be more specific. <laughs> you mean the guy? Are you talking about the fascist dictator in black leather? Uh, that would be Commandant the Brunkum. He's an asshole. Uh. So, yeah, he's always following us and scratching our shows like, yo, we just want to party. We want to party. We want to drink. We want to kill people. What's yeah. wrong with that? You know, the best thing I've got in to, life. on the yeah. bottom of my skateboard, killing people is not illegal. <laughs> it's not the crime. Sorry, not the crime. <laughs> and Some I people also, disagree. I, I'm just living my life. I'm living my life, man. And that <laughs> it means taking a couple others. I'm sorry. We need to be tolerant. I agree. I mean, yeah, whatever. Why would they the judge you on that? Whatever happened to the tolerant left? Like, here they are. Oh, don't eat the baby. Oh, come on. First, you're like touching. ripping them. They're ripping them out of the womb already. Like, use it. This is called conserving. Conserving. It's for the earth. It's for the earth. Just keep telling yourself that as I slurp your dead baby up. <laughs> That's a little kidnapping among friends. Oh, you know, don't be judgy. They're dead. It's not kidnapping if they're dead. 
It could be it could be stolen property, though. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the books on that one. Yeah. Yeah, possible. And I so did you notice a drive to our show. <laughs> drive to our show. We're coming all the way from somewhere in Europe. Yeah. I don't know where. Creepslovania. People come to our show. You will probably get shit on you. Yeah. That's the ghoul promise. Yes. And what I, was what was the tour with Guar like? I know you toured with him back in what 2017. What was that like? Sure that oh, was... those fucking scum dogs. Yes. Oh God, they just pushed us around, called us slaves. We're like, what are you talking about? We're we're like the opening band on this fucking tour. And they're like, no, 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 you have to suck my my fucking like cow nipple things and like you know you got to do what you got to do to make it in the biz. You know oh, what I'm saying. True, so we had to deal with it, but you know the back rooms were very nice. The uh, the deli trays, as it turns out, were acceptable. Wow. Okay. When when the singer brushes his teeth with nuclear weapons, I mean, you don't know what to expect. You know, uh, you definitely don't fuck with the guy. I'll tell you. No, that you much. don't fuck with the guy. We think we're pretty tough. You know, look at these fucking arms. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've gone I've gone straight from like spaghetti to pad thai. These are these are strong noodle arms. Very impressive. Yeah. But Guar, seven foot monsters. Like yeah. you just gotta do what they say. Be where they want you to be. Like suck what you they ask you to suck. That's the way it goes. Yeah. That's similar to my job, yes. So we were talking about shotgun gulch, and we really love that surf rock that's in there for a few bars. Um, oh, you like the is oh, there a, is there a Closet Dick Dale fan in the band? Is there a Oh, Closet Dick Dale. We put out an entire surf record. I mean, yeah. we're all pretty big fans of like old garage rock and the uh, surf and like Link Ray and Dick Dale and the Mummies and oh, yeah. lots of great bands like that. I mean, you know, like uh, metal owes a lot to those bands because without uh, surf bands, uh, metal guys wouldn't know to go like this. Like, so where would black metal be? Without right. without surfing yeah. the water, you know you yeah. like uh, it still sounds terrible, but it's got the thing, you know it's it's got the thing. <laughs> so yeah, we love the yeah. we love the surf and bringing it in, and we were probably honestly on quite a lot of drugs when we wrote that. So Dick, no Dick Dale's a great Dick one to crazy. follow. He would he would just stop in the middle of the show and be like, "I'm going to meet that guy out in the parking lot, kick his ass, and then come back and continue." Like Dick Fuck Dale yeah, Dick Dale daddy. was the man, and he was the king of the surf guitar. Like, yeah, he, yeah. Nobody ever thrust him from this throne. There was no popular uprising against him. That's there right. was no constitutional mandates that had to be written. He stayed king till he died, That's and right. then after that, everybody stopped surfing. I'm assuming. I guess. Yeah. Well, every What's time the some, point after that? Every time somebody like wants to tell me you know that this is this music is an intelligent i want to recite neuroleptic parasites and bioluminescent blight is not an easy rhyme so this is some heavy stuff i mean you'll get it right someday <laughs> it, you'll you'll get it you know keep keep talking about how smart it is and eventually you'll be able to pronounce it it's like just just as well as i can <laughs> It's See, it's easy. Yeah. It's not that bad. You just have to you have to read. And someday I intend to learn how. <laughs> so how did you come to work with the Moron Tavern Shackled Choir? Yeah. Well, we, we're kind of walking around the cavern homes, and uh, you know, it's like it's our our home. We kind of squatted it, you know, as punk rockers do. And uh we found these guys shackled up, and we found every time that we like you know, like stuck them with pins and knives. They they would make these sonorous tones and uh, it just kind of ended up on our recordings. And, uh, you know, we we feed them a little bit to keep them alive. And yeah. uh, we've decided not to eat them because they're a bit gamey, you know. They're they're not even dead and they're so gamey. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, so we, we poke and prod them and they're kind of stuck down there with us. And if you, late at night, they sing me to sleep. Yeah, sing me to sleep. Oh, that's nice. Like that. It's great. It's very relaxing. I don't need melatonin. I don't need any fucking prescriptions. I go to sleep listening to the Moron Cavern Shackled Choir just in the distance. Just... <laughs> it's awesome. The, uh, the first song on the EP, um, the witchy song, 
is like the, I, the, the eyes the of the witch. Yes, I, beware it, the eyes of the, the witch. Eyes of the witch. She's is, only, is, I would say eyes. It's a little bit of an exaggeration. It's pretty swollen on the one side. She's got the baggy, you know, the baggy thing. Yeah. So she didn't. She didn't. You know, she needs. She needs uh, retinol or something for that, yeah. or like an eye lift. But uh, the eyes. We'll say eyes of the witch. Well, then there's that one where there's the three witches and they share the one eye. So you have that. Too. That's yeah. a yeah. Clash of the Titans, a classic. Yeah. I can see you know you know fine cinema, sir. Yeah, it was good cinema. The, the 80s I get that one, movie. Or the, the old one is so much better than the remake. There was a remake. Oh, the remake. Don't. No. Let's not there speak wasn't. of it ever. <laughs> Clash of the Titans, ten Oscars. <laughs> my a quick story. My old. One of my old bosses was a big sports fan. All he cared about was sports. And I went in his office and Clash of the Titans was sitting, the DVD was sitting on his desk. And I said, awesome, Clash of the Titans. And he said, I asked for Remember the Titans. Uh, <laughs> uh, wah, wah, wah. Uh, Sorry, you've got the good much movie. Better movie. Instead, instead of stupid American foot, <laughs> football, the yeah. ball that is not really kicked all that often, not very much football, your football in Europe is something I also don't watch. I don't care. I don't give a shit about any football. <laughs> the only balls I care about are the ones that I'm going to pull out of your body and put on a, a like a breaded bun and you know put some seasoning on it. Absolutely. Little, yeah. You know, a little little cayenne pepper. Those are the balls that I like. I, I I told him I said I don't think there's any mechanical owls in any Denzel Washington movie. What is wrong with you? But he didn't. Yeah, see that's that. right. That's a sport right there. How about the sport of fighting a gorgon? I've owl. done it. I've done it. And she turned to stone when she saw my face. It was really Look fucked up. Quite of an insult, you know. That's a, that's not a good date. That's that's no. Not it good. didn't work yeah. out. It really didn't yeah. work out. Now we got to get you some Old Bay hot sauce to put on those yeah. sandwiches. Oh, they have the hot sauce now. Uh -huh. Well, that sucks because we have ghoul brain jerk from Hella Hot Hot Sauce. And we will have it on tour. And it's Ooh. great on oh, great. pizzas, burritos, um, head cheese, uh, finger sandwiches. You know, <laughs> finger sandwiches. Uh, yeah, the real thing. Uh, <laughs> So we were watching, I love that Shred the Dead video with the zombies and the getting killed by skateboards. So I had no was, idea. That was so hard to film. It was so hard to film. Like being, I had to stick myself up against the wall and be two dimensional. It was, it was a brutal shoot. Brutal shoot. Yeah. Are, are there skateboarders in the band? For real? Yes, we all skate. Just you don't ask skate. us to actually do it in person. <laughs> we have to play instruments and we're, and we're old. Mm. <laughs> and you have deductibles. Yeah, we have deductibles. We have, you know, the, the Ghoul LLC health insurance plan is basically suck it up, bro. Yeah, I, I don't think I've heard bad things about Creepsylvanian life insurance and, and health insurance. It's just not good. Yeah. There's only death insurance there. You're guaranteed to die. That is insured. <laughs> so Mark thought you should all go all like anime kiss and like do a whole series. And I said, why don't they just do like death clock and make a whole show? No, no, no. What I said was, do you think that that Ghoul will ever go the kiss route and be avatars? Like skateboarding. We're through already the avatars of, of brilliance. I mean, what kind of, kind of avatar should we be? We are already avatars to all the surf crossover thrash death metal bands that exist. There's tons of them now. Tons of bands that are aping ghoul sound, putting surf rock parts into fucking thrash songs. I mean, it's 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 you can't turn on the radio without hearing another ghoul right. knockoff band. You need we a ghoul attorney avatars. to take care of these things. Yeah. You know, well, you want you want to talk about artificial intelligence. We don't have any intelligence. What are we gonna do with anything artificial? <laughs> I'm sitting here in a bloody fucking hood talking to you. You think I'm that smart? <laughs> true. Is it true that Gut Bucket Blues was inspired by Dissector yakking in a cesspool after a night of heavy drinking? Yeah, pretty much. That's it. I mean, all of us, really. But that was that was the particular one. That was the one. Because he'd been drinking Dissector's Gut Bucket Blues, his favorite cocktail. It's a, it's a blue curacao, dry vermouth, gin... And piss. Okay. Wow. And so when he vomited it all up, it was very blue. And so we thought, hey, that's that got bucket blues. 
We've all been there, right? We've all been lying yeah. in the pool of toxic success. That sounds like a Monday night around here. It really does. So. Exactly. So, you know, very relatable material. I think all of Google's uh, material is very relatable. Getting drunk, throwing up, fighting an eldritch plant demon from another dimension. Just normal stuff that everybody normal. has to deal with. Yeah. Um, will um, you there be videos for the new album? Yes, I believe there will be. Um, supposedly, we have to see if it, if it materializes. But yes, there should, there should be some videos for the new record. Of course, the best way to experience school is live because yeah. we have not perfected smellorama yet for the videos, <laughs> you know. Like, I mean, you could you could wear underwear for like five days and crap in it and hold it up to your nose while you're watching a ghoul video. And that, that gets kind of close to what it's like to be uh, live at the ghoul show. You should I throw in some, I, some, some blood. I've seen it twice. I've seen it twice. I, I agree. I, yeah, uh, I don't so know how you're get... able to, I don't know how you're able to focus on playing songs when there's monsters creeping up behind you, trying to take you out. I mean, that's oh, very, that's, that's a lot easy. of talent. I don't focus on the songs when there aren't monsters. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing up there. I just bop, 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 bop. You know, you play yeah, the book arms free to, Yeah. The idiots run around in a circle. They give us money for t-shirts. <laughs> it's an easy job. And you would have loved it. I had a patient the other day. This is a true story. He threw up while at the office and pooped himself. So you would have loved it. And then refused to I, leave. I, and then refused. To, why would you ask him to leave? It sounds like a fucking life of the party. <laughs> Put a lampshade on that guy's head and let him go. Exactly. We sure did. All right. All right. Well, we play a game on the show. Are you ready to play a game? Oh, no. This game not, is I, called Blast not Sudoku, Monitors. is it? That's going to be so boring. No. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. All right. Blaspheming right, Monikers. Play. So I let's have do five, five okay. band names in front of me on this envelope. And one of them is fake. The other four are real. I need you to guess which one is a fake band. Good God. Okay, okay, let's let's try this out because I hate it. music okay. and I don't listen to bands. Okay. Grave depression, watery grave, grave siesta, frozen grave, and grave pilgrim. Which one sounds fake? Well, grave siesta sounds so stupid. <laughs> there has to be a dumbass band out there that thought that was a good idea. Them, they they probably sing songs about pizza or something like that. Who would do that? That's so dumb. Um, let's see what you had. Uh, uh, frozen grave, frozen grave, Sounds watery grave, grave depression, and grave pilgrim. Uh, I'm gonna go with grave pilgrim because the other, I think I've heard at least of one of those bands. Um, and grave pilgrim sounds stupid, but not like so stupid that it's fun. Well, they are real. They're from Oregon and they play black metal. They have two fulls and two EPs. Wow, that fucking sucks. What a terrible yeah. fucking band name. <laughs> and what terrible fucking music to play. <laughs> so hey, that leaves... come, to the, come to the ghoul show, Grave Pilgrim. That's right. So Grave Depression, Watery Grave, Grave Siesta, or Frozen Grave? Uh, I guess Grave Depression. This is another dumb name. I'm gonna no, get that's another wrong. band from Oregon. They're you real. You have two, they, two they good play bad death names. Metal. Yeah. Two good yeah. band names that are, you're, it's going to be a band tomorrow, you know, Frozen Grave or <laughs> Grave Depression. Yeah. <laughs> Frozen Grave or Watery Grave is going, those are good band names. I can't believe they're uh, not taken yet. One of them. Well, Watery Grave is the one I made up. All the others are real. That's pretty yeah. good. I think you should start the band. You got the good look going for you already. I think I like, that's I like, I like your face. It's a, it, it's going to, it's going to fucking sell shit, man. Dude. I think, yeah, I Watery think Grave would be great. You could just, it could be. It could just be a uh, like like a like a fish theme or shark attack or yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Pizza shark attack. You could be crossover. Yeah, yeah. And I think it'd be great. Yeah. yeah, watery grave. That's actually a decent name. I'm gonna <laughs> hand it to you. You had the cremator fooled. This is not hard to do. So low bar. It's like down here. That gotcha. bar is like way down to pull one over on me. Oh, that's all Pretty right. Pretty easy. I played bass. You can't expect much from me. <laughs> I can only handle two strings. There's two extra ones. I don't know what to do with them. Yeah, what's it? Yeah. Can't even don't bother tuning those. You don't even need to tune those. No, I, I, I don't even tune the two that I do play. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
So you've got coming up the brain squeeze tour. That's um, right. They're going to squeeze your brains. I love the lineup. Municipal Waste, Necrot, Dead Heat. We actually had them. Well, we talked about them. Yeah, right we now. talked about Dead Heat. Yep. Um, did you guys handpick this group yourself? No, because <laughs> we're not the headliner. Ah. They picked us. The boys from Municipal Waste, they're old frenemies of ours. You know, we get along, yeah. we drink. Then we then we punch it up with each other and then we make out for a little while. It's a good relationship. We had a good time touring with them before. We just played with them a little while ago in uh, North Carolinas, and uh, it's it was a great time. I love these boys, Tony. I'm gonna I'm gonna smash you. I'm just gonna smash you. Now that can mean a lot of things. I mean all of them. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have a a good time on the road with the municipal waste. We always have a good time with in the past. Uh, uh, then uh, Necrot, they are masters of old school retro death metal and bringing it back to the beast. Yeah. So we also know these fellows uh, from playing some shows with them. They always escape our hatchets, but one day we'll catch up. And uh, Dead Heat, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting and smelling fresh meat. <laughs> so who's the biggest goofball you think out of all those guys? Uh, the biggest goofball out of uh, that's not ghoul, you mean? Um, Sonny, Sonny from Necron. He's a real fucking piece of work, that guy. <laughs> real fucking piece of work, 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 work. Yeah, yeah, Sonny. Yeah, the, the catch Sonny on a, any day. First of all, his name is very appropriate, he's always got the big smile. I'm going to punch it so hard. One of no the smiling days. in metal, no. No, he's no. always so fucking happy. I'm going to fucking destroy him. You I'm know what we call him. that? You know, we, we call that the Dave Murray rule. Stop smiling, Dave Murray. Stop smiling, Sonny. He's you always see me smiling. smiling. You see me? You see the scowl I have? Exactly. Right? All the time. You can tell that I'm taking it seriously. You exactly. have to take metal seriously like ghoul. No gimmicks, no bullshit. We are just who we are, and we bring it to the stage. Well, maybe if there was a ghoul 747, you might smile once in a while. I don't know. Well, I mean, it depends on, is it a 737 Max? Because that seems kind of scary to me. It's a 737 Max is too scary for ghoul. All the hinges are flying off. Yeah, the doors are flying that's off. That's true. Yeah. No, I, we prefer to go by either steamship or on the back of a cart driven by a donkey. Okay, Our that, that tour could take a while. Of... That could be a slow. Yeah, it could take. It does. I mean, you ask why it's so long between records. Well, there you know, it is. Just yeah. just to get to the rehearsal room, you know, it takes a little. Spend... In a cast being dragged by a donkey. Yeah, I mean exactly. Yeah, we should probably put wheels on it. That could help. We should put wheels on the on the basket. Um, have you thought about a potential set list, or if you told me, would you have to kill me? Uh, I'm gonna kill you at the show, anyways. All right, well, you're not you're not even coming. But uh, <laughs> your basket has no fucking wheels. No way you're gonna make it. But no, we have a set list. We got some oldies. We got some newies. We got definite moldies. Lots of moldies. Well, speaking oh, of you moldies, can probably hear a little off every record because we don't want to learn that much new stuff. Ah, you about some when you guys songs. did the. You guys did the cover of that Kim Carnes song, The Kids in America. Like, how did that come about? Oh, that was Who thought of that. Oh, Killing Kids in America. That Killing Kids in America, original, right. That is an original ghoul tune written by us, <laughs> Killing Kids in America. I don't know who this Kim Wilde is that you're talking okay, about. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hey, sometimes, ah, all seriousness. Yeah, we like uh, we like some old shit like that. And uh, sometimes we want to feel like playing it and trying to get better at the music. We always fail. We <laughs> never get better, but we try. I think it's a great cover. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you. We had a lot of fun doing that, and we had a lot of fun killing kids in America. It was yeah. kind of just, you know, yeah. it's just kind of a Zen, Venn <laughs> diagram, just like it just stalled. It was just a moment. So, do you think you're gonna make us wait another seven years before we get new, more? Yeah. I bet you idiots will keep waiting, don't you? <laughs> we will. We'll be wearing this the whole ghoul, time. Ghoul is an addiction. We are <laughs> we are the heroin in your veins. You can't live without us. You go right. to withdrawal, and all you can think of is ghoul. That's mm. calculated. We own your flesh. But we'll probably record this year sometime, I'm guessing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Really, you really. Got a lot good. more. 
got a lot more coming. We're really, we're really rolling. Seven years, we're going to knock that down to like six. We're going okay. for it. That's good to have goals. That's, that's good. Yeah. Very good. Hard definitely working. Definitely more uh, exercise tips. I've now put video games into my regimen. Yeah. Thanks to you. Yeah, that's good. You know, good for eye hand coordination. You know. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Good. Yeah. Well, this was great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was terrible. Time Fuck you. All right. All right. So it was I'm terrible. miserable. But Thank you for wasting. I'm glad we wasted each other's time. This is just uh, yes. the best. Pleasure yeah. was all yours. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast.